y'all. Today is Thursday. How y'all doing? I'm off work today. I am out. I have to run some errands today. I'm preparing to go out of town. And, um, you know, in true fashion, I did everything last minute. Y'all, how about I just start packing this morning? But I did that on purpose because I have a bad tendency to overpack. And I felt like if I started packing at the last minute, that it would force me to only take the stuff that I need. And so far, I'm good. All right, y'all, so I just dropped off my shirt to the airbrush artist. Y'all, I'm excited. I told y'all I was going to Texas. I'm going to a birthday party and she's celebrating the whole weekend. Her birthday was actually last week. And one of the events that she has planned is a 90s party. And I wanted me an airbrush t-shirt. Y'all remember a few vlogs back, I was telling you about my PYT t-shirt that I had airbrushed at the flea market and my grandmother was tripping because um, they said PYT and I was a <laughs> little young thing. So I'm headed now to my next errand, my next destination, and I'll check you guys later. I miss you. That song, every time I hear this song right here, it made me think of my auntie so, 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 so much. Like, y'all just don't understand how much I love that lady. I miss her. I think about her, I think about her a lot more oddly now than I probably ever have, which, I mean, that doesn't mean I miss her any less than I did. It's just that I think about her a lot more. I think about how, um, how a lot of things would have been different I think about how she would have spoiled my son. I think about just how what she would be doing if she would be um, alive today. Y'all, I'm telling you, so many things would have been different if she had been alive. But God saw fit to call her home when he did. And, you know, yeah. She died a horrible death, y'all. I'll just say that. She wasn't killed or anything. She wasn't murdered or anything. But she died a pretty traumatic death. And she fought to the end. Like, she, I told y'all before, she was stubborn as hell. And she, you know, she, she ain't take no mess off nothing. And she fought to the very end to live. But at the end of the day, God called her home. But, yeah, that song just makes me think of her a lot. If y'all want Jamie to escape... Your night is wet about nothing. I'm just telling you, it wet. Y'all, okay. My shirt is done. It looks so good. It is definitely straight 90s vibes. It's giving me, I can't wait to go home and try on the whole outfit. It looks so good.
I am done with shopping. The little bit of time that I had to shop anyway. Y'all look at my necklace. I got this from the hair store yesterday. I couldn't resist buying it. I have a gold one that's a little bit smaller than this without the fake bling. But I just, this was so cute to me. But anyway, I didn't buy anything from Neiman's. They had a, y'all know I want me a pair of um, Christian Louboutin So Kate um, heels the size 100 millimeter and um i know i can find those on the pre-love market which is why i didn't get them when i went in i was in orlando how about they had the shoes in neiman Marcus last call for 400 i think it was 445 dollars but it wasn't in my size so didn't get anything from there did go to Saks. i got two things y'all know i don't have pierced ears so anytime I see nice clip-on earrings, I try to get them. And the nicer ones are a little bit more pricey, but you know, I, I can't wear pierced earrings. So what am I going to do? So I got these. These are by Ava and Aiden. And they're just plain, simple gold tone hoops. These were um, $24.99, which is the most I've ever paid for a pair of hoop earrings, but um, Oh, those are really cute. And then I bought a pair of, new pair of Sunnies. And this is gonna be my last pair for a while. These are um, Ferragamos. And I saw these, this was the only pair they had. I actually was looking for all blue pair. And all the blue pair they had looked like um, something Elton John would wear. No shade to Elton John, but they just did not look right on my face. So these come with the little dust bag. Of course, the lens cloth. The case. And these are the glasses. I like these because it has that subtle ferragamo logo on each lens i actually had to look at it to to make sure that was it these were um it says regular price 400 and sex off fifth had them for um 99. i really like the way these look and they i, it, I mean i literally had to look twice the very subtle ferragamo branding on the side just very thin arms, slight, slight cat eye, and I like the straight edge of the lens. Cute, right? That is all I got, you guys. I probably won't do any more shopping while I'm here. Um, I went ahead and did it today when I left the airport after that fiasco at the rental car place because today is the only day that I would have um, any time that I don't have an obligation to be somewhere unless you know I go like to Walmart something like that but but um I'm going to get me something to eat and then I'm going to go check into the hotel and I'll see you guys later when I finally did get it from the airport. The gas range was 464 miles to empty. I have driven all over Dallas, Fort Worth, and Arlington in this car, and I'm only down to 419 miles per, em to, 
419 miles till empty. The fuel economy on this car is amazing. It's a, um, a Kia E5 and sport a little car. It got a, a good little pickup and go about it. Y'all, this chicken must be good because look at this line. I'm literally, literally hanging out of the drive-through line. I'm headed home, y'all. It's early in the morning. It's about 6.50. I am headed home. See y'all in Dubai.